Hey, this is Steve coming to you from the Plant Studio here in beautiful Tampa, Florida, and we're really excited to be offering one of the original plants cultivated for interior use. It's a Dracaena Deramensis Janet Craig, and the Janet Craig comes in three different flavors, and starting over here is our traditional green leaf Janet Craig, sometimes we call it JC, but it's beautiful, lustry leaf and it does well in low light and you don't need to water it a lot uh, it prefers dry soil and also we have the Dracaena JC Limelight if you need a little more color in your interior space go ahead and select this plant it'll do well in interior spaces too the closer you can get it to the window the better it's going to be as always on the end here we have the JC Carmen and it's known for its leaf variegation uh, some very interesting variegation with yellow on the leaf margin and the deep green leaf just like the traditional JC. We offer this plant in the three different flavors, JC, Limelight, and Carmen. We also offer it in two different sizes. These, are off, these here on the table are in a 10 inch grow pot in the bush form. We also have the 14 inch grow pot. Down here you can see the plant's much larger and fuller um, so that's the difference between the 10 inch and the 14 inch we also offer the JC and um, this is the bush form and then we also have the cane form so you can see the cane exposes a little bit of the, the the cane itself and it doesn't have the leaves all the way down to the bottom of the grow pot so it is the cane form bush form 14 inch 10 inch Okay, so we put the JC in the very low maintenance category. It doesn't need a lot of light and it doesn't need a lot of water. So that's good for you. So with our sub-irrigation system, with the wicks and the ring, you can charge the sub-irrigation system, water the plant, and forget this guy for six to eight weeks. If you elect to get the plant without the sub-irrigation system, you're probably going to want to check this every two weeks. Uh, for the most part, they'll stay clean in your house or your office, and you really don't have to worry about them. Maybe about every three months or so, you want to check it for dust, and if it does have some dust buildup, go ahead and wipe it off with a wet rag with a little bit of soap in the solution, and that'll clean them right up. One of the other low-maintenance aspects of our JCs is that they don't require a lot of nutrition. In fact, for the first six months after you get your plant, you don't need to add any fertilizer to the soil at all because there's plenty of nutrition in the soil profile from production. There's plenty of fertilizer already in there, so you really don't have to mess with it for six months. After six months, please check our nutrition guide, and that'll give you some guidance on how and when to fertilize this plant going forward. The JC, Janet Craig, doesn't get a lot of bugs. It'll come to you clean, pest free, but one of the biggest pests that could impact this plant is the pesky little mealybug. And it's a little white cottony bug that'll end up showing up here in the crotch of the leaf and you'll see it a little cottony uh, white insect down there and what you want to do with that is get your rag back out, put a little pressure on them and pull them off. So uh, with a nice clean uh, regimen you probably won't get any bugs, probably don't need to worry about it, but if you do, you can put some soap water on them and that'll take care of it. Okay, as you can see, our bush form has leaves all the way down to the base of the plant, covering up some of the grow pot. Occasionally, you'll end up with a leaf that'll maybe get some spots, it'll turn brown, the old leaves will turn brown. If you want to take it off, it's a very simple procedure, and this is about the only pruning you're going to have to do with the JC is give it a cut in the middle of the leaf, pull both ways, and you give it a little tug, and it comes right off the plant. That's the best, cleanest way to remove a leaf, and that's the only pruning you're gonna to need to do with this plant. 